First thing we're doing is we're going to be changing the brake, front brake pads on a Volkswagen Mark V. Uh, 15, 15 feet on it. Right. Uh, this is a 1.0 SE. The right, first thing we do is we take the brake reservoir top off, making sure it's clean before you take it off. Next thing we do is we jack the car up, put in that axle stamp, and then take the Got it back on. Hmm? Got it back on. Hold on. Right, the first thing we're going to take off is the back caps, the dust caps for the sliders. Take them off. Then screwdriver just nip it in between the hub and thing and just push it back just a wee bit get it in just push it back just a wee bit just to let you be able to get the caliber off right next thing we're going to use is a seven millimeter allen key It doesn't take much to break in. That's the top one broke. And the bottom. There we go. Okay, right, that there's the sliders out. What I'll be doing with these is I'll be giving these like a wee sanding down just to take off all that of the carbon. And I'll, I'll be putting some high high grease or high temperature grease on them before putting them back in. Right, because we've loosened it off a wee bit there for screwdriver rest here should actually now come off. There we go. Right. As you can see there's not much meat left on the brake pods so just take the brake pods out. Hold on. That's uh, brake pads off. Next thing we're going to do is get one of the old brake pads. Probably don't even need to use a winding tool, but I will use it. Here a big pair of pliers some people do with. I just I've got the two wire nice ones. Right, right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clear along here, take the Take a lip off the rotor, rotor, and clear along here, clear along here. Then we're going to clean the caliper itself 
and the bits that move here. But the next thing is to hang the culper up. So you don't damage. Next thing we're going to do is put the, the brake pads on. As you can see, these two brake pads, one's got a big, one's bigger here than here. The bigger one goes in to the piston. A wee bit of fat one. After a wee bit of fat, I'm going to eventually get this on. I hate to like things like this one. <laughs> oh. 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 What you want to make sure is the backs. Of the brake pads, go to the back here, or else you won't be able to get them in. Right? Right. Once I put these in. use copper grease there's a big iron well or some people use one some people use the other right awesome. all right so that was so that's the lugs greased up top and bottom now we're putting in the sliders the top and the bottom for really really tight now. once you get them both
all the crud from the sides. Rotors are good, so we'll never change them. And uh, next thing I do is get the wheels back on, pump the brakes, and then take it for a test drive just to make sure everything's okay. So that's it, Mark 5 Golf uh, 1.0 SE.